I think uh, it was well done. Uh, the director was loyal to the story of Susanna, it reflected very well the pain and suffering of the patient and the family, and the confusion and sometimes disconnection between the medical field and the patient. It highlighted actually the professional isolation that currently exists between multiple disciplines, in particular neurology and psychiatry, and the need to bridge the gap between psychiatry and neurology as Susanna's illness is a true reflection of lack of communication, what I refer to professional isolation between two disciplines, neurology and psychiatry. Few scenes got me choked up. So it was not about entertainment, it was about actually highlight the disease and hopefully raise awareness about autoimmune brain disorders of the brain that although severe and can be fatal, but often fully reversible if the diagnosis is made early on and the treatment is initiated in a timely manner. The big clue, believe it or not, was hidden in the patient's story. The million dollar workup did not lead to any diagnosis, but the clue was there in Susanna's story. He really did a wonderful job. I really, he, he portrayed me very well and could not ask for any better portrayal. Did you meet him a number of times? But he spoke to me right before he played me. And I was in the clinic in a hectic day running around and he called me and he said, uh, this is Dr. Najjar. I said, no, excuse me, I am Dr. Najjar. Then after a few seconds, I realized that probably he, the actor's calling me. And he said, I need to talk to you just to get some motivation about who you are, see how you talk, and it's just about now to pay. And he did really wonderful, wonderful job. He's a better ver version of me. Susanna's stories touched many hearts including mine and save so many lives she's become the voice of those who cannot advocate for themselves and i think she raised awareness about that disorder and i believe the movie especially after i saw it will continue to raise awareness about autoimmune brain disorders of the brain and highlight the need to bridge the gap between two artifactually separated disciplines, neurology and psychiatry. Susanna was a victim of that separation. Mm -hmm. Life. She's a true hero in that story.